Marie Kondo, a.k.a. Keeping Your House Tidy expert, has given up on keeping her house tidy because she no longer has time. Quote, I'm busier than ever after having my third child, so I have grown to accept that I cannot tidy every day, and that is okay. Aka what? Hey people, welcome back to Mommy Soul. Another week, another time together. Let's talk about this because <laughs> if you don't know who Marie Kondo is, Google her. She is the decluttering, keeping your house organized, keeping your house tidy guru. Way before there was home edit, there was Marie Kondo. We're like, yeah, you know, I guess that's true. It's possible to keep the house tidy and organized at all times. I mean, she's showing us how to. If it doesn't spark joy, you get rid of it. What changed? Marie Kondo now has more than one child. She has now realized it takes a whole lot more time to tidy up after three kids compared to one. It's reality is facts. And the magic number is not even three. There's a difference between keeping up with two and keeping up with one. Can you imagine back then when Marie Kondo had one child and a mom of three is watching her and trying to implement her rules and ways into her life when she has three kids and Mar Marie has one and she's going, I can't keep this home tidy. I can't keep this house tidy. What am I to do? And Marie is telling her, yes, you can. You just have too much stuff and you're not putting in the time to keep it tidy. There is no way Marie Kondo, mom of one at the time, would understand the reality of a mom of three. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a mom of three. I know the difference my life took when I went from two to three. I've said it several times on this channel. I, the issue is we keep getting all this information in today's day and age where everyone can give us information and sell it as an ebook. No one has the blueprint for your life. Well, except Jesus, of course, but Jesus is not here. <laughs> We're talking about no one has the blueprint for how it should work. Everyone has an opinion and they have the platform to give us their opinion. If you shape your life, yourself, your family life, your home life to what person A, B, C says you should, you force yourself to fit into the mold that they say is the ideal for you. What are you going to do when person A, B or C changes their mind like right now? Do you know how mad it will make you? First of all, you're supposed to vet who is bringing this information. What do they stand to gain? Some people are giving you information because they need to make a dollar. And that's, that's just facts. Lovett is here giving you information. Lovett needs the views to make some YouTube money. <laughs> so Lovett tries to make it a win-win situation. You get information, I get views, I get money. You see how that works? And I'm very open with that so that I can never go back and, and come to you and say, no, I do it because I want to change your life. The heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that's, that's honestly why I say it out loud. <laughs> it's the money. <laughs> but you're getting something out of it. Is this person giving this information because they have to sell a book and so they have to give us something new? We don't know if that something new works, but because it's something new, here comes the publicity. We always have to vet who we're getting the information from. Are they qualified? To give us the tips how is a youtuber who has no kid trying to tell me with kids how to keep my home tidy how i'm not saying they don't know what you're saying i'm saying they cannot talk to me with kids if you've been here long enough then you've heard me say several times it's all about what works for you for your life it doesn't mean you don't take advice and tips and information from play you do but you always want to filter it through how it fits into your life the reality and common sense of your life so when marie kondo is saying your house should be tidy blah 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 i'm going marie only has one child marie has cleaners well allegedly because i don't know this part but i'm thinking if you're making a certain amount of money chances are you have cleaners. chances are heck you have nannies who is watching your kid while you're traveling Love it doesn't have nannies. Love it doesn't have cleaners. Love it's husband works pretty much all day. Love it is the only one here. Love it cannot do all that. Vet. We're vetting this information. We're vetting who is bringing the information. And so if Marie has cleaners and nannies, then Marie does not understand that Love it at 8 p.m. does not have the energy to start picking up the house just because the house has to be tidy. No. Does that mean you just give up and hey, it's what it is and you never aim to get better? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I accept my limitations at that time, at a time when my youngest is one. 
Two, my limitation is, listen, it takes a whole lot out of me throughout the day to keep all three children alive without the house burning down and without sending them to therapy because heck, I could keep this house tidy, right? And the energy in this house will be horrible. I can keep the house tidy and be worn out. You see me and I have bags under my eyes because I am tired. Mentally, I'm exhausted because gosh darn it, this house must be tidy by the end of the day. I could do it at the expense of so many other things. So I understand that every season has its limitations and the limitation when my baby was one or when she was two, it's a whole lot different from my limitations now. Some people have a problem going to bed with a dirty kitchen. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I sleep just fine. But time is changing. Now, I would rather have the kitchen tidy before I go to bed. To clean up the kitchen before I go to bed, it's not second nature. I have to really work at it. I have to force myself to do it. I can do that now because my baby's three. My baby isn't breastfeeding. <laughs> my baby sleeps through the night. My oldest, both of them are in school. It's not summertime. I'm not with all three kids all day, every day. I can do it now. There's a difference. Now, if I were listening to Marie Kondo last year and forcing myself, losing hours of sleep, which ends up robbing me of time and mental clarity the next day, do you know how mad I will be right now? So you have to learn how to deduce from all these people information you think would help your lifestyle. But before you bring it home, filter it through common sense. Does it make sense for your life? Does it work for your life? Now, let me quote this thing she said. She said, my home is messy, but the way I am spending my time is the right way for me at this time, at this stage of my life. Isn't that what we've been saying? Isn't that the same thing as a mom saying, right now I would rather sit and watch TV than going to tidy up. And at that time getting the feedback of, well, that's why your house is messy. Don't get me wrong. Marie Kondo definitely helped a lot of people. And this video isn't to bash her and to say, oh, you're a fraud. No, definitely helped a lot of people in realizing you have too much stuff. And it is true. It's a lot easier to keep your house tidy when you have less stuff and when you have a place for everything. I agree. But you know, the problem isn't getting it tidy. The problem is keeping it tidy and the energy it takes and the time it takes to constantly pick up and keep it tidy. So I'm not saying that everything she said is wrong and oh, she's fraud. No, no, no. Take what you need to take. Hopefully that's what a lot of people did or maybe not based on some of the things we're reading. But if you took from her method, things that would make your life better, wonderful. But if you were killing yourself trying to fit into this mold of it is possible to keep your house tidy all the time with three, four, five, six, whatever number of kids you have or whatever challenges you have. Well, this is a time for you to reevaluate and realize, woman, <laughs> reality check. Now, is Marie Kondo wrong for changing her mind? Head to the no. In fact, I'm glad she said it. There are some people that wouldn't even say it because they know it could affect your brand. So I'm glad she said it. The truth is, I mean, you don't know what you don't know, right? I'm 39. <laughs> I know one to 38. I don't know 40 to 105. I don't. And so when I get older, I'm sure I'll change my mind about certain things I thought I knew from one to 39. The older we get, the more experience we get, we, we, we are going to change. We're going to rethink some of the things we thought we knew. And so for Marie to say, you know what? I now have three kids and I realize it ain't the same as one child. She has every right to change and we have every right to use common sense. She's saying that she's now looking at being tidy through a different lens. She's looking at it from a holistic point of view, her whole life, not just her house. I, I applaud her for doing that because it can hurt her brand. Granted, I know she has another book coming out and what she's saying now helps with that book, but that's not the point of this video. The point is change is inevitable. And dear mama, dear mom, dear whoever you are watching, always make sure that before you force yourself to fit into this mold set by whoever, and this has to do with every area of life, always remember that no one has 
the perfect blueprint for your life and so it's your duty to vet everything coming through against who is giving the information and your lifestyle and taking what you need to take and leaving the rest if there's anything you should get out from this video it's not that Lobeth is bashing Marie Kondo. In fact, I think she has helped us all in one way or the other. In a day and age where everything can be and is being monetized, i.e. money is being made from telling you what you're doing wrong, especially when it comes to being a mom, make sure you're not living your life based on someone else's standards. It doesn't mean you don't aim for better. You should. Self-improvement is always a goal, but give yourself grace understand the season of life you're in and what its limitations are. You can try and if it doesn't work, give yourself grace and tweak it. Don't frustrate your happiness because you're trying to fit into someone else's standards. Pretty much, that's what it is. All right, well, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has not come through as bashing Marie Kondo because I'm not. And if that's what you're getting from it, then rewatch the video or talk to me in the comments and we'll, we'll trash it out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.